Christina Baxter, and this is Dublin. And I'm Kristen Button, and this is Raiden. <laughs> and welcome to Cabarrus this weekend. Guess where we're at? We're at the animal <laughs> shelter. Going to tell you all about these beautiful little animals that you can adopt. And uh, Kristen's going to tell you all about that. We've got a lot of great information on today's show. So grab that pen and paper so you can write the contact info down. If you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address, <laughs> and Dublin will tell you all about yes. that. <laughs> Today, CTW is with our furry friends at Cabarrus County Animal Shelter. The county assumed operations of the shelter from the Humane Society in February and is using their excellent established foundation to continue serving Cabarrus County animals. The shelter is a division of the Cabarrus County Sheriff's Office and provides the public a safe, temporary shelter for animals without permanent homes. The outside may look the same, but inside operations have a fresh feel. New staff put all paws on deck to update the front office area and receive training to administer a new level of service to our furry pals. There are several ways shelter staff place animals in their forever homes and finding the right match is important. During the adoption process, trained staff work with individuals to help find the right breed and personality fit for your lifestyle. Staff can spend time getting to know the animals and can help guide you to your new best friend. Are you thinking of adoption and don't know where to start? All available pets are waiting for you online at cabarrascounty.us slash pets. You can view photos and learn about their personality any time of the day. Adoption hours are Monday through Friday from noon to 4.30 p.m. <laughs> and sometimes animals need a bit more medical or behavioral training before they are ready to meet their new family. The shelter works with many approved rescues across the country to help facilitate those needs and eventually find their new families. Rescue hours are Monday through Friday, 1 to 5 p.m. The shelter also helps owners reunite with their lost pets. The website updates lost pets in their custody frequently to help them find their way home. If you find a lost guy or gal, bring them to the shelter on Monday and Tuesdays from noon to 4.30 p.m. The safety and well-being of animals in Cabarrus is not a job one agency can do alone. So consider donating wet and dry pet food, clumping cat litter, blankets, towels, treats, or toys. The county regularly receives public input on shelter operations from the Animal Protection Advisory Board, a board of commissioners appointed citizen group. County residents that are interested in serving on the Animal Protection Advisory Board can request an application through the county manager's office at 704-920-2100. For more information on the Cabarrus County Animal Shelter, visit cabarruscounty.us slash pets or call 704-920-3288. Now, Amy Birchfield is going to tell us a little later in the show all about these little pets, uh, something you might be interested in adopting, right? Okay, now, the Wild Wonder Series continues Saturday, March 18th. Now, this nature series is kind of introduces children five and older to wildlife in our parks, and this session's on wild wa waterfowl salamanders and frogs okay so the, all you do is meet the ranger at the park office vietnam veterans park on march 18th at 7 p.m to explore the world of salamanders find all along the creek oh here we go dublin's going to jump away here we go <laughs> this session is only two dollars and registration is required so for more information on wild wonders salamanders march 18th from 7 to 8 p.m vietnam veterans park Visit CabarrasCounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. I think my dog wants to go home with you too. <laughs> I know. Look. No, you got to like me. <laughs> get ready to make words and get double points, which I never do in Scrabble. But join Afton Sunset Rotary at Afton Tavern for a night of Scrabble wordplay benefiting the Cabarrus Literacy Council, Tuesday, March 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. Tickets are $10 per person and can be purchased by calling the Cabarrus Literacy Council at 704-920-2223. For more information on Scrabble Night, March 15th, 6 to 8 p.m., the Afton Tavern, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-2223. Now, March is Women's History Month, and the Kannapolis mm -hmm. branch of the library is going to be honoring women who have served with a special presentation on Monday, March 21st, 6 p.m. Are they going to talk about you since you've served? I don't think served? so, oh, okay. but I, I, I'm going to go hear the presentation, I'm sure. Okay, good. Now, Beth Koesch presents the history of women in armed services and discusses her work with the Betty H. Cater Veterans yeah. Historical Project. It's based at the University of North Carolina in Greensboro. Come learn about contributions that all women have made to the U.S. military. So, for more information on women in the armed services, March 21st, 
at 6 p.m. the Kannapolis branch. Just visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-1180. Chess is just as challenging as holding these scrimmy little puppies, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's a game that takes strategic thinking and patience. So come learn this intensely fun game Saturday, March 19th from 3 to 6 p.m. at the Concord Branch of the Library. This event is open to all skill levels, and attendees will learn the fundamental concepts of chess, participate in leisurely play, or turn up the intensity and take part in any of the four competitions available. A traditional chess tournament takes place in the second half of the program. Now, for more information on the Chess Challenge, March 19th, 3 to 6 p.m. at the Concord Branch, visit cabarruscounty.us slash onctw or call 704-920-2050. Who says you can't compete sitting down? We're, uh, well, we're doing it right now. Yeah, now. Now, they've never played chair volleyball. Now, come have a blast in a seated position at the chair volleyball tournament. That's going to be on Monday, March the 28th at 11 a.m. at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord. Now, seven players per team with a minimum of five, and the cost is $30 per team. Registration is required by March 23rd. So for more information or to register for Chair Volleyball Tournament, March 28th from 11 a.m. at Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or just call 704-920-3484. Is your teen in need of some time away? I think I might want to go to this. But the 4-H Teen Retreat is approaching March 18th through the 19th at the beautiful Betsy Jeff Penn 4-H Recreational Center in Reedsville, North Carolina. Teens from across 19 county districts gather together for personal development through workshops, community service, group activities, and district meetings. Friday Night Dance gets the activities going and lets you meet teens from other counties. Registration is required and the cost is $85. For more information on 4-H Teen Retreat, March 18th through 19th at the Betsy Jeff Penn Education Center, visit cabarruscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3310. Now, in the depths of the Great Depression, thousands of dollar-a-day boys work for the Civilian Conservation Corps. Now, it camps all across the United States, and uh, a lot of that was like responsible for the Blue Ridge Parkway, mm -hmm. different projects like that. And there were some here in Cabarrus County. Camp Crippus Atux in Concord was a camp that was here. Now, author Bill Jamison shares heartwarming tales of the story of the CCC using storytelling, music, and video. Monday, March 21st, 6 p.m. at the Concord Branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. Now, former enrollees and their families are encouraged to attend and bring memorabilia to share with folks. So for more information on the Civilian Conservation Corps' presentation, March 21st, 6 p.m. at the Concord Branch, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704 920-3484. And it's almost that time of year to run around in the yard at dusk and enjoy the natural flickers of light. Catching fireflies is a memory that most of us have, and passing on the tradition to our friends and family is priceless, just like this guy right here. Come make a firefly jar Thursday, March 17th at 4.30 p.m. at the Concord Branch of the Library. Kids 5 to 12 can take these jars home and find some real-life fireflies to catch and release, of course. Of course. For more information on firefly jars, March 17th at 4.30 p.m. at the Concord Branch of the Library, visit cabarruscounty.us slash onctw or call 704-9 Two zero three four eight four. Now we're going to uh, let Amy Birchfield kind of mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about some of the animals that are here available for adoption. So this is Raiden. He's a very sweet little pup. He's about uh, about a year old, maybe a little under a year old. He was a stray. Um, no one came to reclaim him, so because he was so sweet, we decided we put him up for adoption. He's got a bit of chocolate lab mixed in him, so some of the coworkers call him Hershey for fun. He's a little timid, so I think he would do well with any type of family. He loves attention, but he's a little on the shy, um, a little on the shy side. He would do well with cats, I think. Um, a more dominant dog as well, which sometimes it's hard to find a playmate for them. But he's a really good boy. He loves attention and to be petted. Hey, buddy. I think he would do great in any family, and we're hoping to find him the perfect family. This is Copper. Copper is a young little boy that was surrendered um, by his owner. They couldn't take care of him anymore, so he and his sister came in. Um, Anna, his sister, got adopted. Copper's still here, and he's looking for his forever home. He's definitely some sort of a cute mix. 
um, maybe lab mixed with some sort of terrier. Um, he's definitely very energetic. He's showing off his calm, gentle side right now. His loving side, but he's very playful. Likes to play with other dogs. Um, because he's got some terrier in him, I'm not sure if he would do very well with cats right now. Maybe with a little bit of training. Um, he was a bit fearful when he first came in. He's definitely got over some of his shyness and fear, but I think he would do better with older children, not young children, who like to, you know, play and pull on the ears and tails. That can be a little scary to them, but older children, I think he would do well with, as, as well as other doggy playmates. Um, he's a very sweet, sweet boy. Um, he's definitely looking for his forever home. So come and check him out and see if he's the right pup for you. So this is Phoenix. Phoenix is a two to three year old male tomcat. He's a gorgeous Flame Point Siamese mix. He's a very sweet, lovable boy. He loves to purr. He loves to talk. He's got the most beautiful blue-green eyes, if you can see them. He's pretty social with other kitties. I'm not sure how he does well with dogs, but I think he would do okay if he was introduced properly. He's a very happy kitty. As I said, he loves to purr and talk to you. He's definitely ready for his forever home. Come check him out and see if he's the right kitty for you. Thanks, Amy. I mean, that's an adorable animal. Oh, yes. Now, <laughs> it's time for a really expected time. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. And expected time at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord. Okay, it's going to be the extravaganza, okay, on this Wednesday, March 23rd from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Now, in addition to eggs, of course, mm -hmm. you're going to have expect all sorts of activities. We've got game, we've got food, we've got fun. Reservations are required by March 18th, and the cost is only $5 per person. So, for more information on the spring party, March 23rd at 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., Cabarrus County Senior Center, Concord, just visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-3484. Now it's the final countdown for registration for the Cabarrus County Senior Games. Uh -huh. Can you come beat Baxter? Because <laughs> yeah. I know you're competing. What events are competing. you in? Uh, a lot of field events. 100 uh -huh. meter, 200, 400. Well, come Long see jump. if y'all can beat Baxter. <laughs> Cabarrus County residents 50 or older as of December 31st, 2016 are eligible for a variety of events. The cost is only 20 bucks and the deadline to register is Monday, March 21st. Challenge yourself to a new sport or bring your A game back and show us your talents. The games kick off April 4th. For more information on Senior Games, April 4th through May 21st, call 704-920-3484. I might even sing. Oh. oh, okay. Now. That's special. We're going to charge admission for that. <laughs> right. Yes. Uh, North Carolina, maybe we'll give them money. Uh, North Carolina heads to the polls for the primary election. That's on March 15th. Remember, identification was acquired to vote in 2016. Polls open at 6.30 a.m. through 7.30 p.m. Now, you can view your sample ballot and your precinct information on the website at cabarruscounty.us. Election results will be posted as soon as they're available. So, for more information on primary election day, March 15th, from 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., visit cabarruscounty.us, or you can call 704-920-2860. Now, what's better than ice cream? Oh, I don't know. Not a lot. <laughs> that's our decision. Free ice cream is oh, better. better. And you can get your free scoop at the Cabarrus County Sheriff's Office Youth Development Dig Division's Day or Night, Tuesday, March 15th, 1 to 8 p.m., at the restaurant Highway 55, that's in Locust. DARE has been teaching students good decision-making skills and to help them lead safe and healthy lives since 1983. A proceed of all these orders goes during the event goes directly to DARE programming right here in Cabarrus County. Mention the program and get your free scoop of ice cream. All For right. more information on DARE Night, March 15th, 1 to 8 p.m., Highway 55, the restaurant Highway 55, in Locust, call 704-920-3026. Now, all Cabarrus County Parks have new extended spring hours. Camp Spencer, Frank Lisk, and Vietnam Veterans Parks. Extended hours are Sunday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. 
Now these are new hours, they're valid from March through October, so take advantage of this warm weather like today, oh, yes. oh it's gorgeous today, and visit one of our parks in the spring. Now whether you just need kind of wide open spaces or to host a family outing, or maybe just a kind of a nature time out mm -hmm. for yourself, Cabarrus County Parks can help you and keep you fit. Now for more information on the Cabarrus County Active Living in Parks, visit cabarruscounty.us slash ALP or call 704-920-3484. Now I know we've had a lot of information on today's show, so if you missed any of the contact information, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW and all that information will be there for you. And thanks to all of our fans on Facebook and Twitter. Um, there you can see all things that are happening around Cabarrus County. And you can also sign up for our weekly e-newsletter that comes out straight to your email box. Go to cabarruscounty.us, look in the top right hand of the screen, click sign up for newsletter and enter your email. And it'll come straight to you. And if you have family or friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, or maybe you just want to watch us when you get a chance, well, just go to cabarruscounty.us slash cabcotv, and up comes all our different uh, thumbnails for all our media, so you can watch any of the videos anytime you'd like. And I tell you what, I don't know, it's tempting. I got one dog. I don't <laughs> it I is hard. Yeah, it is hard. I mean, Dublin's pretty cool. He's, he's, nice he's a cool dog. little dude. So you got to come out here to the animal shelter. Look, they have beautiful animals, and um, you just got to do that. Just check these out. They're just too cute. <laughs> they are cute. And rescuing animals from the shelter is so much better um, for, the, for the community. Absolutely. And until next week, you have a great one. See you later.